Incident Report YUL 20 backslash 12. A report on the incident codenamed Fimblewinter from the City of London duty operative and first responder. Introduction. I have been told to make this report in my own words, which strikes me as a mistake. I'm more used to the head of my department telling me to shut up, or at the very least to write what I'm told. More to the point, I'm not used to my own words. The higher-ups want a full picture, apparently. There's talk of briefing the minister, but I'm not sure I'm the man for a full picture. I didn't join the civil service to be a writer. I don't mind filling out a form, recording the daily observations, following the bullet points, but I'm not the creative type. They should have sent a poet. I'm not convinced I can do justice to this. How Christmas came early to the City of London. How more than Christmas came, and what was done about it. Well, it was me who did the doing, of course, which is why I have to write this report in my own words, however good they are. Section 1. December the 1st is probably a good place to start. It was the beginning of the month, for one thing. The beginning of Christmas for another, which is important, of course. And more to the point, it's also when it all started. It was the day I was woken up by kids shouting at me. I should note that this isn't entirely unusual, not even in the city of London, where there aren't many teenagers. I personally seem to have spent most of my life having kids shout at me, mostly when I was a kid, of course. But it still happens. I'm one of those people that people shout at in the street. It must be my face or possibly my clothes. Either way, I'm used to it, and it wouldn't usually bother me, but it was what they were shouting that gave me concern. You're a wizard Harry, yelled a male voice. You're a lizard Harry, said another. Show us your wand. Hmm. I looked out of the bedroom window. A small gaggle of teenagers was standing out in the street, outside the front door to the tower, staring up at the windows. Let down your hair shouted one when he saw me. Oi, Gandalf, shouted another. Where's your moth? Hmm, deep cut, I thought. I've been told that I ought to explain everything because this report might be seen by people who don't know much about the ministry, so I should probably tell you that our offices in the City of London are in an old tower that used to be part of a church before the Luftwaffe tidied it away, so that now it stands all alone on a traffic island up a side street. More importantly, and the reason why you might not know much about the offices, the Ministry likes to keep them secret, which probably includes not having teenagers shout at them from the street. I ought to go down. I opened the front door to discover another teenager on the doorstep, evidently trying to peer through the keyhole. It was a girl dressed all in black with messy hair and a chrome Egyptian unk threaded on a shoelace around her neck. She looked up at me as I opened the door with eyes rimmed enthusiastically with black. Are you really a wizard? she asked. Am I what? The other teenagers were loafing closer, trying to hear. They said you were wizards, but it's been covered up. Secret wizards everywhere. This is your secret tower, she paused, and then said with an eager nervousness, I want to be a witch. Now, I was really concerned, and not just because I had a bunch of possibly crazy teenagers on my doorstep, but also because I am, of course, a wizard. Well, to be more accurate, a magician second class. Wizard is a term reserved for the senior management. If I was a wizard, I wouldn't be doing Christmas monitoring duty. Although, as a magician second class, I at least get to choose where. Somewhere like the City of London, where it's usually nice and quiet. Usually. Anyway, the point is that yes, while the girl was right and I am a wizard, she was not meant to know this. The Ministry doesn't just like to keep its offices secret, it likes to keep its wizards secret. It likes to keep itself secret. Secret very much doesn't include having teenagers shout about it in the street. Who on earth told you that? I said. Who's they? There's a video on YouTube, said the girl. There were lights, she added dramatically. TikTok, mate, said one of the boys. There's a whole subreddit, said another. <laughs> the internet. Oh boy, this was bad. Someone in IT had made a mess, and here it was dumped on my doorstep. I thought there were supposed to be whole legions of demons scrubbing this stuff off. 
Once the existence of the ministry was on the internet, it was there for all the world to see and know about. Fortunately, so was also the sum total of human knowledge, and more importantly, the sum total of everything humans could make up, which amounted to a lot more than all the facts. And you believed it? I said. What? You believed something, some random, told you on the internet, I said. And I thought kids were supposed to be smarter about that kind of stuff. It's everywhere, said one of the boys, with doubt creeping into his voice. Botnets, I said, trying to sound like I knew what I was talking about. Sock puppet accounts, spam factories. You've been trolled. The girl's face fell. I felt a little guilty, but then I consoled myself. Perhaps one day some professor of comparative religion would tap her on the shoulder and suggest a mysterious government job. So why don't you all just go home and just... I made a little sweep with the wand I was hiding behind my back. Forget about it. There was a brief moment while they tried to remember, while they were there in the first place, and then they just sloped off to not go to school somewhere else. Back up in the office, trying to decide whether this warranted a report, I thought I'd better check with Brassneck. I'm given to understand that these days people have smart speakers that they can talk to, which bring them replies from the internet, but instead I have a medieval robot. Normal people have Alexa. I have the brass head of Friar Bacon. I mean, what's the point of being a magician if you can't have things like that? I think technically we're supposed to be just sort of storing it as a museum piece, but why have an enchanted mechanical head sitting around the place if you can't make it Google things for you? He doesn't like me calling him Brassneck, though. Oh, it's everywhere, master, he said in a voice like grinding gears. Somehow he always makes the word master sound like an insult. The messages are enchanted to hide them from the demons. He sounded inordinately cheerful about this. But I think they're originating in the city of London, so they'll blame you for this. Hmm, so that's why he was enjoying it. You want to watch your attitude, Brasneck, I said or it's no oiling for you. But he wasn't wrong. I was the duty magician, and this was happening on my patch. It wasn't the kids being trolled. It was the ministry. And with magic, too. Trolled. Ha-ha, yes. Trolled. I might just have had an idea.